Hi, welcome to another FSD beta video. This is version 10, it's going to be a first initial impression drive. Um, it's now 7 a.m. here at the East Coast, um, Connecticut, so there's not too much traffic going on. So it's not going to be a very representative drive. And we already have quite some weight here, checking for visibility. Yeah, it's creeping halfway into the road, so this is something that um, hasn't seemed to be gotten better right off the bat with version 10. So version 10 came out last night. Uh, Elon kind of, uh, maybe you could say hyped this version, saying it's a step change and um, the usual mind-blowing tweet. So we'll see. Um, as mentioned again, this is my test route. It's a little bit of a mix of local roads, main roads and highway. And we'll see how it's doing. Here coming to that stop, kind of stopping early. No, that's not good. They couldn't really see here, so... Or I couldn't see, maybe it could see, but... Didn't want to take any risks here because I couldn't see if the road was clear. So there's going to be a couple of maneuvers or situations coming up where previous versions used to struggle. And I used that as kind of a, an indication on where this version stands. Now the thing is, you know, it's always a little bit difficult to say or to, to gauge something based on very individual situations. But I think it's all that, you know, we can do as testers. We have our world, our surroundings that we drive in. Um, we have our own challenges and areas where the system struggles. And, you know, naturally that's where you would like to see improvements. So, given that, you know, we are, we are testing this system all over the US at the moment. And uh, there was some indication from, from Elon on a tweet saying that they overfit the neural nets to the San Francisco Bay area. Um, kind of admitting that the system therefore is working better for testers over there um, I don't know I it's kind of in line with what I understand from other testers that um, the the guys and gals at the West Coast generally have a better experience and um, you know it's it's one of these things right you know is it because of the system working better is it because of the road system being different maybe a little bit easier than roads here in the East Coast or in some areas of the East Coast. It's very difficult to judge, but it's the reality and uh, that's that's what we're doing and that's what we're here for. So mm -hmm. what I can see here, uh, which is I think kind of different, you can see here the lines, they seem to be a little bit different, the lines indicating the, um, yeah, a little bit of a swerve here wasn't sure which link to pick. This is this has been an area where this happened in the past as well. So it, it's not sure if it should take the left or the right lane. But what I can see here, what changed is I think the, um, the lane markings are not even sure what the change is. Are they now more crisp in the sense that this um, indication of uncertainty has gone away? I have to go back and check in my, one of my older videos. But if I feel like the the lane lines, the, the markings are much more, in a sense, they, they, they don't have these fuzzy fuzzy edges, as you can see here, the red line, right? Compared to the, the lane marking here, which is, it's jumping around a little bit, but, you know, it doesn't have this fuzziness to it. So this is going to be one of the challenges. It always, you know, also now the car is, ah, okay, okay. Okay, I mean this again, the car struggled in previous versions with this here um, because this was an, an intersection which the 
which kind of goes from two uh, from from two lanes into a three lane and back to two lane. Now there was no car to the right of me, so maybe that helped in a sense a little bit um, because I didn't have to worry about the car swerving into the wrong lane. But um, as you could see, it was changing lanes to the right lane pretty quickly, and um, that was that was actually good. So here I would say. Again, you know, this is very a very narrow one data point, but here I would say this version is doing better than the previous ones. So we had a, a bad start with the first stop, uh, and now uh, a better behavior on the second problem area, I would call it. Let's see, we're now merging onto the highway. Whoa, this is okay. It punched there the. the accelerator so I guess I was a little bit startled I kind of took over here now it doesn't let me re-engage the system okay let's re-engage now we gotta switch lanes okay of highway so I might fast forward this in, in post processing I have to see same version of the code this single stack what it's what, what, what it's been called um, I mean this was a very short drive on uh, on highway um, but it didn't feel much different um, compared to pre previous versions I would say so I mean for what it's worth right this is not a firm indication or anything like that because it was really a, a kind of a short stretch on, on highway only but it didn't feel much different on the other hand you know, it did a pretty good job in uh, switching lanes, changing lanes if necessary. Um, so yeah, we have to test some more on that. Now here in the past previous versions, it always was stopping at this spot here. It's not doing that now, which is actually great. Now, did it do that or did it not stop because of the lead truck here? I don't know, but definitely uh, an improvement here as well I would say again you know if you take these single data points in terms of where the system has problems so it didn't slow down at all in previous versions if you check out my previous video I think on 9.1 um, it was slowing down considerably um, because of these um, I, I, my assumption is because of these um, indicators on, on, on the road saying that you have to give way to pedestrians but that's just a guess on my side no problem on this stop here <laughs> there's no other car so nothing to do or you know to mess up in a sense but generally I you know these four-way stops where there is good visibility um, the system didn't have troubles in the past, so or at least most of the time there are cases where when my car arrives almost at the same time like another car, um, the system sometimes uh, is not sure you know who who has now who is next in line basically to go. but I mean these are really minor changes that happen to human drivers as well, so I wouldn't see that as a problem. Be 
speed modulation here is actually great. So there was a slight curve, the car slowed down a little bit. See how the creeping is doing here. I mean, visibility generally is not bad. Okay, pretty quick decision to go. That was good. I mean, there were no cars coming, but that's the thing that I would like to see. So there, there are no cars coming. There is nothing to wait for. So the car decides to go, and it goes. So this is good. Again, of course, you know, always, uh, you know, this caveat. It's now 7:15 a.m. Um, there's no other traffic. Um, And generally, the system has been working quite well, and I have to slow down here or force it to slow down because it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't seem to recognize this speed bump here still. So it's one of these old ones, you know. Really, not that easy to see. All right. And we are at the destination. So this is my little test route. And it's just going to stop here because the route ends. And that's it. of the way here good um, there is a couple of improvements on single data points where my system or my car had issues in the past so uh, there I see some improvements um, there was also this one first stop where it kind of just went for it where I didn't feel comfortable um, it's kind of hard to judge right so is that really an issue um, did it go without looking or not but it made me feel uncomfortable, so I had to disengage. And then the second one was where it accelerated into that highway ramp, and it didn't let me turn on the system again afterwards. So these are, it, it seems overall to be more aggressive, again, compared to 9.2, 9 which already was quite aggressive. Um, and there seems to be slight improvements, uh, it, at least from my data points or from my pain points. So that's a, a development in the right direction. Is it a step change? I don't know. I think it might be a little bit early to judge that. So I have to do some more drives, especially drives in more traffic, because the system works quite well in um, in areas where there's not a lot of traffic, where it doesn't have to interact with other cars. So we'll see that. I'll uh, do some more drives over the next couple of days, and I'll put up a video of the ones where I think it's interesting or which shows where the system currently stands also compared to previous versions. So stay tuned for that. If you don't want to miss uh, one of these videos, please consider subscribing so that you get the alerts when new videos are uploaded. And leave some comments if you have questions, happy to answer them. Thank you very much and see you next time. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>